Hello everybody, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and if you are a game developer who's interested in checking out App Game Kit and you happen to be on Steam, this weekend is your weekend. By the way, this news very much expires, so today is uh, October the 11th. Yeah, that's right. October the 11th, and this is going to be for the next three days, so until Sunday. So that'd be October the 14th. If you're watching this on October the 15th or later of 2018, yeah, just hang up now. There's no point in watching this video. But if you're watching before that, this is the free weekend for App Game Kit. So what exactly is a Steam free weekend? Well, it's exactly what it sounds like. Basically, you can pick a game or a portion of a game. Sometimes it's like, say, Call of Duty 3's multiplayer. Uh, in this particular case, it's App Game Kit's Tier 2 is free this weekend. And let's jump in and take a look exactly what that means. So you can use the next three days to trial out their Tier 2 game engine. The game engine is uh, very beginner focused, but quite powerful in what it's capable of, to be honest. I've already done a closer look. I will link that down below. The closer look series is a cross between review and a tutorial. It kind of gives you a good idea if a game engine is right for you. Now, mine is a couple of years old at this point, And since then, they've added functionality such as 3D and VR. So keep in mind, it has definitely evolved since I did that initial review. But it still gives you a pretty good idea idea of how things are structured, what the experience is like, what the language they use is like, and that kind of information. So back to App Game Kit. What exactly is it? Well, it is a two-tiered game engine. Basically, tier two is what you get this weekend. It is a higher level, basic like programming language designed for creating games. And on top of that, it has a game engine. That's the tier one stuff that's written in C. Uh, and if you have tier one, which is not included with this just for um, DRM kind of reasons, they, they, they can't include this because once you've got it, you've always got it. But at the tier one level, it's a full C library, C++ library, where you can build your game at that level. And the tier two is built on top of tier one. Now the tier one library is kind of like uh, Raylib or SDL or SFML in scope. So if you've worked with any of those, you got a pretty good idea of what you're getting with App Game Kit Tier 1. It's the low-level cross-platform functional stuff. Tier 2 is a simpler programming language and editing environment built on top of that. There's some really cool tools in there. There's debugging, there's remote device running. We'll get back to that in a second. But that's what you're getting this weekend is that Tier 2, that uh, basic, like, very easy-to-use game engine. So functionality-wise, what is there? Well, there's a 2D game engine, which has what you would expect, things like loading sprites, animations, tweening, uh, 2D physics via the box game engine, and then there is AR support, augmented reality, which coincidentally, I have done a video on. So if you want to see how to do augmented reality, um, what I did is basically made a TIE fighter float above my desk. Um, if you want to see how to go about doing that, I've done a video. I will link that down below as well. Maybe someone will watch it at this point in time. Um, there's also uh, full 3D support in there. They've also got integration, or they can be exported from another game engine they make called Game Guru. You can create your game in Game Guru and target out to App Game Kit. I'm way beyond what I'm going to talk about here, but I've also done a video on Game Guru. I'll toss that, that below too if I can find it. On the 3D side of things, they've also got full 3D physics engine in the form of the Bullet physics engine. So then you got things like collisions, ragdolls, uh, you know physics -y stuff. Uh, they have a VR support added in as well, um, so you can do things like uh, touch controls, full leap motion hand tracking, uh, head you know, panning and obviously VR rendering for so the dual or split screen rendering requirements. There is an audio library built in there, uh, both sound and music. It's built on top of MP3 and Augvorbus format files. And there is a full font system for true type and free type fonts. So all of the basic pieces that you need to build a game are implemented at a low level. And then there's this higher level tier two, kind of layer built on top of it with an IDE that you use all together to create games. It's a very straightforward and simple environment to work with. And I would actually kind of recommend, check this video out. This was done just, uh, when was that done? Uh, April 15th, and it gives you an idea of exactly what developing a game in App Game Kit feels like. But as you can see here, they've also got their own scripting editor, uh, a whole bunch of samples normally available, and you see it does things like provides, I don't think they should use the term IntelliSense, because I think that's actually trademarked, but code completion, code folding, color schemes, edit multiple projects, a fast compiler, full debugger with breakpoints, walkthrough, all that kind of stuff. And then probably the coolest feature of all is broadcast to device. You can download the App Game Kit host on your... Um, Android or iOS device, and then you can uh, basically remote games to them. So you can run your game directly from the editor on your mobile phone. So then you can do things like, you know, movement of your phone or in the case of augmented reality. So you can actually deploy to a phone wirelessly over your own network. It actually makes development on mobile very, very cool. Now, one thing I didn't mention, I got to get in the habit of mentioning this earlier on up front. This guy runs on uh, Windows... 
um, Mac, and I believe Linux via SteamOS. So you've got uh, all major platforms supported. I'm not 100% sure if, if it would just run on Linux normally. Do check that out before you continue. But it can run on just about any platform. Now, currently, I think you can only deploy to the platform you're running on right now. So if you want to make a Linux build, you need to use a Linux machine, not a Windows machine. That is in their roadmap of something to add in the future. So if you want to build a Mac binary on a Windows machine, currently you're out of luck. You need to run your Mac binary on the Mac that you develop on. But generally, I don't think that's going to be a big deal, especially for your developing during this you know, free weekend if you choose to check it out. Now, as I mentioned earlier on, there's this tier one layer that you do not get this weekend because they can't copy protect it. It's basically just a library. It's a bunch of C++ libraries or C code, and it provides all of this functionality. And then that functionality is also exposed in this basic like language on top. And you get an idea of the kind of stuff that's included here. 3D graphics controls, user input handling, sound and music handling, uh, 2D graphics handling, and then where they kind of get impressive is over here is they've got a lot of like third party support already rolled in out of the box. So if you want to do things like HTTP requests, ad mob chart boost or Amazon ads, um, Firebase database support, JSON support, in-app purchases, game center, notifications, push notifications, all that kind of stuff that you always end up wanting to add to your game engine. Well, they've already created functions for doing that stuff. So it's a pretty robust solution. Now, this is a high or low level engine. Okay, this is going to be a little confusing. This is a code focused game engine. So there's no high level tools. Uh, you can do that with the 3D version if you also grab Game Guru, and then you can have kind of a Unity like editing experience, but there is no level editor or anything along those lines. This is 100% a code focused engine just do be aware of that but you get an idea of the kind of code that it exposes just by looking at this list which of course I will link down below so now we get back to the uh, steam page for it right now along with this they're also running a sale you see it is available for 70% off that will of course also get you the tier 1 C++ libraries that are not part of this free trial right now so again free trial tier two only. So if you want to get the low level C++ stuff, you, you need to buy the full on kit. And you can see it is available at 70% off, $26 Canadian. That's probably about 20 bucks US. Um, and as you can see, it is available on those three platforms. Now the Steam Linux is, is still a little iffy. I'm not sure exactly what that means. I'm assuming if you're a Linux user, you know exactly what that means in terms of platform support. Uh, and if you can let people know in the comments down below specifically what that means, I would love to know. Because if you see here and you go to the platform support, you see Steam OS plus Linux. So I don't know what the limitation is there. Uh, hopefully someone can fill that in and say if it will run on Linux platforms or not. It just might require Steam to be installed or is it SteamOS only? I don't know. So hopefully someone can fill that in down below. All right. So anyways, that is App Game Kit. It is currently on a three-day trial. It, it's an interesting engine. Uh, I definitely think this is a good time to check it out because there are alternatives out there. There are things like Raylib that is completely free and is moving in a very similar way. It doesn't have quite the same scope of function. It doesn't have those third-party supports, VR supports. It's, it's basic. It's uh, 3D is more rudimentary, for example. Uh, but again, it's free. So is this the right engine for you? It's hard to say. And it would be perfect if there was just some way that you could try it for free and come to your, oh, hey, why don't you try it this weekend and find out. And that's what's ideal about this. So if you're interested, I have actually done a closer look at on App Game Tip. Now, the Closer Look series is kind of a cross between review and a getting started tutorial. So it should give you an idea if an engine is right for you, it gives you an idea what the workflow is like, what the coding is like. Now, keep in mind, I did this in July of 2015, so three years ago, and things have changed since. Now, the cool thing is this is still the same version, same product, so they just keep updating it. The same license I have when I did this is the same license that the new people get all of their new functionality. And you see back here, 3D is a work in progress. Well, 3D is no longer a work in progress. A lot has changed in that regard. Uh, now there's VR and AR and additional functionality, and etc. But this still will give you an idea of what the programming environment and experience is like, what the tools are like, what you're getting at when you deal with that game kit. And I need to update this at some point in time. But again, this review should give you a good idea of what App Game Kit is all about if you're kind of on the fence. But realistically, if you're on the fence, do the free weekend, try it out, see if you like it. And now keep in mind, if you're all about the C++ and the lower level stuff, um, you don't have access to that this weekend. So anyways, that's it. That is the App Game Kit free Steam weekend and 75% off sale or 70%, 70%. Sorry, talking up my butt on that one. 70% off sale this weekend. Uh, let me know. You thinking about checking it out have you already checked it out do you like it do you hate it let me know in the comments below also if you can tell me exactly what that means i'll be it'll be interesting to know if that just means can i just in the future say 
uh, Windows, Mac, and Linux support when it's Steam plus Linux OS. I'm not 100% sure, so I'd love to know that. Let me know that in the comments down below as well. All right, thanks a lot. Hope you guys enjoy it. Cheers. Goodbye.